Hello and welcome to the Photoshop tutorial on how to create a nice looking space star field. Now I would recommend you to view this tutorial in HD resolution just so you can see all the settings and what I'm doing on the screen a bit better. Okay, so to start a new document you go to File, New. I'm going to use 1000 by 1000 pixels but it's up to you. You can use any picture, any size. Press OK. Then press D to bring the default colors of foreground and background back to their default values of pure black and pure white. And then you can use paint bucket tool, which you can access by pressing G or just selecting it on the tool selection menu and fill the background with solid black, like so. Now to actually create, to create stars, we have to create a new layer by going to layer drop down menu new layer or you can just press shift control n you can name the new layer small stars like so press ok you, then you fill it with the exactly the same black color and you put the layer mode to screen it's the third column to screen like so now to actually add stars, you go to filter, noise, add noise. And the amount of noise depends on the percentage you input in the amount window. I'm going to use 40. Make sure to tick the Gaussian and monochromatic options. Press OK. Now right now it looks like a mess, but we can fix it by going to image, adjustments, brightness and contrast and slide the brightness value all the way down to minus 150 and contrast all the way up to 100. Press OK. So it looks kind of like a star field. To make it more, to make it look better, you, go, you have to create or actually duplicate this layer by going to layer, duplicate and you can name it big stars. Now because we duplicated the layer, it already got the noise and it already set to screen. Now you can turn off the small stars layer just so we can see what we're doing with the big stars layer better. You go to image, adjustments, brightness and contrast again, slide it down to minus 150 in brightness, up, up to 100 in contrast, to remove all the tiny stars, leaving just the big bright stars on the, on the picture. You can repeat the process again if you want by sliding down to minus 50, contrast, OK. Now if you use your zoom tool by pressing Z or just selecting it, right mouse click and press either zoom in or press actual pixels you can see that the affecting brightness and contrast we removed all the small stars leaving just the bright big stars on the picture. To go back to the full screen view you press the right mouse click and fit on screen. Now to make the stars even bigger you can first zoom out so you can see the picture a bit better on the full screen you have a bit of space around it. You can press, you can use the, uh, the scale tool, which you can access by going to edit, transform, scale, or you can just press control T. And then you, while holding shift and alt, you pick one of the corners and drag it out till around twice the size. It's up to you, like so, and press OK. Now if you zoom back in, you can see the colors, the, pic the stars a bit bigger. You can make them brighter by first inverting the image, just so you can see what's going on. Then you go to, you can invert the image by pressing Control i or you can go to Image, Adjustments, Invert. And then you go to layer, uh, Levels by going to Image, Adjustments, Levels, so you can press Control l 
and then you input 230 in this first window, which is the value for the shadows. Press OK. Then when you invert it back to black and white, you can see that the stars are much brighter. Now when you turn the small stars layer back on, you can see that the picture is full of small stars and nice looking big stars on the foreground. Okay, so the next step is a big one where you, using the eraser tool, which you can access by pressing E or selecting it in the tool selection menu, put it on brush with nice big kind of transparency of like between 30 and 40 and a nice big fuzzy soft edged brush and start erasing each layer separately. You, when you work on the layers, you have to highlight it to make it active, otherwise you won't affect it. So select big stars, for example, and then start erasing it little by little to make it look not as if it was computer generated, but more of a random space star feel as it would appear in real life. Erase each layer separately. Now again, it's up to you how you do it or how much you erase. You, you can use your imagination or to suit your needs or what, what picture you're looking for. I'm not gonna do it much just to show you guys how you do it. So like so. That's it. Now we're gonna add, first of all, we're gonna flatten the image because now we have three layers, background, small stars, big stars. In order to do our next steps, we have to flatten the image by going to layer, flatten image, which essentially flattens all three layers into one picture. And then you duplicate this, this image because now we're gonna create some space dust. By do, for duplicating, you go to layer, duplicate layer, you can name it space dust. Okay. Now, you can set the space dust layer mode to linear dodge, which makes nice looking star field. And then you go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and use something between four to six pixels radius. You can see it. You can see the result in real time on your picture, so you can just affect the radius pixels when, until you get the result you need. I'm going to use around 5.5. Now when you zoom into your picture, you can see that it got some nice looking highlight around the big stars, and you have this body of mass of space dust behind the, around and like all around the small stars. So the next step is actually give some color to your space, space body. Because right now it's just black and white, which is a bit boring. So you go to, to affect, to affect the color of any layer really. You can go to image, adjustments, color balance, or you can just press control B. And then you can play around with shadows. Each shadow, mid-tones, and highlights have separate values. So you can just play around with blue, yellow, red values until you get the combination you need. I'm gonna just I'm gonna add some blue, blue color to my space to make it look more interesting. Press OK. So it just doesn't look like just plain black and white. Now the next step is to add some bigger, nice looking space dust. To do that, first we will need to download the texture to use in brush, as a brush. The texture link, download link, is in this description of this video. So when, once you've downloaded it, you open it in Photoshop. Open. Navigate to the folder where you downloaded it to. It will be called Planet Texture. Press open, there it is. Then you have to define 
this texture as a pattern for your brush. You do this by going to Edit, Define Pattern. You can name it anything you want. Just name it Dust or anything. Press OK. So now you can close the, you can close the texture. So now when you select the brush, and then you go to the brush menu, which is located just to the side, and you navigate to the texture, you tick on a texture to activate it, and then default one would be these bubbles. This is default Photoshop texture. Then you go, you click on this drop down menu and you select your newly defined pattern. Make sure to put the mode to color burn. So now it created the brush which looks like this texture which looks like something resembling a dust. Then you close this. You, change, you choose the color of the dust. I'm going to use blue. Then you create a new layer. Name it space dust or big dust or color dust. Put it to low opacity between something like 15 or 20. Select the size of your brush. It should be, like, it should be a fuzzy brush with soft edges. And start uh, and put it put the layer to screen mode and start to paint your space dust. Again, it's up to you. Just use your imagination. You can play around with different colors. The amount, the, the size of the brush, the opacity. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just gonna do it quickly. Just add some change. You can change the colors, put some green green highlight into it just to make it look a bit better like a space anomaly anomaly or you know space dust you can use the eraser tool with low opacity with a soft edge brush to brush it out if you made until you until you get to the point that you like it there we go now the last step is to add some big bright stars, suns, and some lens flares. To do that, first you create a new layer. Layer, okay. Doesn't matter what you name it. Press OK. Now press D to go back again to back to the default pure black, pure white, which you need for this step. Fill it with black. Make sure you're working on the new layer and not on the previous layer, so otherwise you're going to mess it up. Fill it with black. Right now it's solid black, which is covering all the previous layers. To make it visible, you select, you put this layer onto the screen mode, like so. Then you go to Filter, Render, Lens Flare. I would recommend to use one or five millimeters prime lens flare and then put a smack in the middle. You can also affect, for the stars, you put a smack in the middle. You can also affect the brightness, but don't put it too much. So the this light halo going out of the corners, otherwise you're gonna see it. Put it around, say, 93. Press OK. Now it will create, initially it will create the the flare right in the middle. Now to, you can press Control T or Edit, Transform, Scale. Again, hold Shift and Alt in the corner and just scale it down till the size, till you get the size you want. And you can actually use the mouse pointer to move the star around. Now put it like where the content concentration of the big stars in your picture, like so. You can duplicate this layer by going to Layer, Duplicate, OK. Like so, you can then, again, Control T, you can scale it up, or you can scale it down to make smaller looking stars. 
duplicate layer, duplicate, and just, you know, layer, duplicate, just play around with it, use your imagination. Look at some reference pictures of space from Hubble telescope, anything to get you the idea how the stars look like on a star field. Scale it up, make some nice looking stars. There, duplicate, okay. Make some, control T, scale it down. Again, it's all, it's all up to you how you do it. So, you can affect the color of each star by selecting it, by go and then going to image, adjustment, color balance. You can see it, the star selected, the last star I created. You know, you can give it a green hue and anything you want, or you can affect all of them at once by holding shift and then selecting all of your star layers together, like so. Then you go to layers and you can merge them together, like so. Now it will reset the layer mode when you merge them. So you just, just go to and put it back to screen. And then you go to image, adjustments, color balance, and you can make them anything you want. You can either do it separately for each star, you can make them like this for, you can affect like this, you can affect the color balance of any layer, like so. Now you got some, you can also, if you want, you can create a new layer, fill it with black, just repeat the steps we didn't, put it on screen, filter, render, lens flare, but then you can put the big star layer a bit off the side so you can actually cast the lens flares, like so, you can affect, change it and change the brightness, or you can put the different, uh, different lens flares, I like to use 105 prime, then press OK, like so, now you have a big star which you can actually move around. Control T, scale it down, move it around, put it, you know, when you, when you put your mouse, uh, mouse cursor on the side, you can actually rotate it, like so. Okay. Nice. Also, the other useful feature which I found is then when if you select the any of the layers, either it's space dust or background, because I'm gonna affect the stars highlights. So I'm gonna select my stars layer, which was background. Then you use your lasso lasso tool, which you can access by pressing L, like so, and then just draw the shape of where you want the highlight to be on your, you don't have to do this, but it's up to you. So like this, for example, once it's all like selected, you press right click mouse inside of it, you press feather, and you put the big feather between, depending on the size of your picture, 20, 40, press OK. So what it did, it actually feathered the edges, so it, when you affect this area, it doesn't affect it sharply, it will affect it smoothly all around. So now when it's, once it's feathered, you go to image, adjustment, brightness and contrast, or anything, and you can put the brightness up just to make it, you know, give more light, contrast, anything. You can do this with any layer, and I found it really useful in many you know, in many applications, like to add nice looking shadow or anything, highlighting photographs, looks nice. And you can click it off, 
like so. So you got like some nice looking light there appearing from the stars. You got the sun. You got the sun. There you go. You got the your space picture. Well, thank you for watching and good luck.